unacceptable. Nobody wants to see the wool. All right, so we got Bowser Jr. versus Pokemon Trainer. Personally, I don't think Bowser Jr. just wins any matches. So. <laughs> yeah, but Bowser Jr. is hype, so I kind of, I'm kind of rooting for the Bowser yeah. Jr. But, but I'm not supposed to say that because I'm coming. Mm -hmm, me too. But I'm not because you're right. I am coming. And there's like just so many Pokemon trainers in Westchester, so it's you know you kind of know what you're in for here. Where's this Bowser Jr.? Who knows what we're gonna get? Mm -hmm. No coup like this whole Wi-Fi series. Does he just not have internet? Yeah, I mean, somebody. I I I I, used to, I would play in person a lot, but I don't play in the Wi-Fi so much just because I don't. Mm. I don't consider my Wi-Fi good enough to uh, mm. you know, start a consideration for the others. Ooh, interesting. The uh, side he powers through the projectiles. I'm sort. I'm surprised Quid isn't picking up these Mechacoopas as well as he could. They're like yeah. really one of the easiest projectiles I'm getting to pick up. Yeah, yeah, they are, and yeah, I, I love to pick up a Mechacoopa whenever I find it best. All right. You know, I'm a snake man, so I'm I'm used to that kind of thing. Ooh. Air dodge through ledge is such a good option, but if he uses it too much, I can see Quid punishing it hard. Is it Charizard down smash or something? Yeah, I mean, a, a Bowser Jr.'s up B is like deceptive because like the aerial attacks he can use out of it are really strong, but you kind of are inclined to feel like they've just used up B. They simply must be in disadvantage, but they often go for the aggressive option. Because it kills. It's really good. Okay, look. That tongue. What that tongue do? Let, 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 let when the... from your head to your toe. You cannonball disappearing in the platform. Computer. That is very sad. You the physics of this game aren't quite up to snuff. Uh, I'm doing a little more than suggesting it. Oh, I'm declaring you're it. Flying it, perhaps even. <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> you're so unabashedly. Such, you, you tell it like it is, and I love that. These words are a little too big for me. <laughs> Which one is? <laughs> yeah. Honestly? <laughs> All of them? <laughs> Ooh, he likes these Mecha Koopas. And I like that he likes them. Oh, wow, that was interesting. Oh, sorry. The Mecha Koopa I'm not even covered sure what just happened, but he got him. Finish that. He definitely could have gotten hit by that Mecha Koopa. But since he got hit by the Mecha Koopa anyway, he up be connected. And that was a beautiful option from Tilbury. Yep. Yeah, that's the cool thing about like explosive is like the Mecha Koopa. Mm -hmm. you, you can throw out another hitbox while the hitbox from the explosion comes out. So you can like build your own combo and you have all the time in the world to set it up. Ooh, go for the drill though, but didn't quite get it out in time. That drill's really powerful. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and it's like unpunishable. You cannot and punish it that. Lingers. So you can catch like mm. neutral gaps with it. Oof. Good fall through the platform. That was clever. Caught him. Oh, quit at the magic percent. I definitely find that like with Bowser Jr. Um, if you can start figuring out how to call out like when they jump out of the up B, which a lot of Bowser Jr. players do, you can get some really good punishes because they're pretty vulnerable when they when they jump out of that side B. Missed the tech, unfortunately. Missed the Spanish for a bit longer and lost the stock because of that one missed tech. Damn. That's how it Imagine did. a game where both these characters exist. I <laughs> played Marth, but then he decided that Roy was more fun. I used to do Roy, but now I've started doing Morton a little more. <laughs> Ludwig. How can you not be Ludwig if you're a Bowser Jr. Man? Everyone plays Ludwig. Ludwig or Lemmy? Which one's the one with the crazy, like, spooky eyes that are freaking out? Is that oh, Lemmy? Crazy. They all have eyes. Has, like, those eyes that are, like, that are, like, like the, uh... You it's know, either Lemmy or Larry. Out. See, that... Yeah. yeah, that, that... The aerial attack you can use after using Bowser Jr. Up is so good. Every time, but you still get hit by it. Right, because you just want to punish the upbeat. Uh, oh, you upbeat past the ledge? Obviously, I should be able to kill you. Nope. Oh, again, he almost got hit by that. Again. It has a landing hitbox. He's neutral B. Who's neutral B? Oh, the, 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 uh, the cannonball mm -hmm. itself, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that cannonball it hits you is once. Mm. 
if you shield the cannonball at this time, you can just like touch it as much right. as you want. And without and if it happened to be falling if... down right when it hit your shield, it'll hit you twice, yeah. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> this character has really cool things and really stupid. Yep. Huh. I didn't think you could take like that. Huh. Okay, both of these characters are about to die. He's gonna get it first there. That was actually a really clever way to land. He dropped, the, he dropped the Mecha Koopa to make him scared of going to that side of the stage, and then landed on that side of the stage after he knew his opponent would be scared of going. That's a very clever landing mechanism. I'm gonna punish wow, that. Yeah, you're right. Unpunishable. Yeah. I'm surprised he got it with the back air the one time. He did punish it. Must have been really fast. <laughs> Up there. Damn. The way he's just moving with this character in the gym. I I mean I am seeing a lot of these like a lot of these side bees into into jump. Mm. If quid if quid caught on to those more, I feel like you would be able to get some really good punishes. Like like mm. just call it out and like do do an up air or or, or a vinyl. <laughs> he's alive. Cool. Yeah, just jump. That's good. Wow. See, there you go. Mm. Call up the side bees. He's using them. Yeah, he tried to go for it there. He's starting to catch on. The thing about side B is, is you can either jump or just keep going, and both of those options are pretty punishable if you read them. Yeah, and I mean, you can just you, if you can call out the jump by jumping over him, and then if he keeps going, I mean, see, he just tried to call out the jump and he didn't get punished for it at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the side B, once your opponents start catching on to it, it can be a really, really dangerous thing to keep throwing at. Yeah, Quid's trying to call out the jumps now, but your Kova seems to be adjusting to avoid getting punished by not jumping quite as much. The projectile game from Bowser Jr. is so good when he wants to like just sit back. The camp phase, right? Alright. Go to do here. Oh, oh no. He wanted it. Wait. He wanted it. That was a bit, that was pretty aggressive though. I don't even know if that would have killed because he was only like 10%. That's the scary thing. It's such a good like stage option to get back. And it's also very punishable. Kubu's doing such a good job of holding that corner. Yeah, yeah tech lock chase. down oh, smash. To All right. The roll instead of the guaranteed punish. I've noticed a lot of people have started to try to punish the roll back after the jab lock instead yeah, of just they're... going for the guaranteed stuff. Yep, because they're you can charge it for a second. And you think your opponent is trying to di in to avoid dying off the side blast zone. Oh. Got him. That's a smash. They're good. Okay, but the Omega could hit anyway, so he's going to go. That's all I have to say. 